A few years ago, I came across a story that's played a massive role in my life. It's helped me to push over the boundaries that I've set for myself and really shine light in those darkest days and really help me to push me to succeed in my business ventures. Today, I'm gonna to share that story with you. Following Ang Lee's second best directing win at Academy Awards last night. So he's a uh, movie director who won a uh, Academy Awards written in 2006 post Oscar win. In 1978, as I applied to study film at the University of Illinois, my father vehemently objected. He quoted me a statistic. Every year, 50,000 performers compete for 200 available roles on Broadway. Against his advice, I boarded a flight to the US and this strained our relationship. In the two decades following, we exchanged less than 100 phrases in conversation. Some years later, when I graduated film school, I came to comprehend my father's concern. It was nearly unheard of for a Chinese newcomer to make it in American film industry. Beginning in 1983, I struggled through six years of agonizing hopelessness uncertainty. Much of the time, I was helping film crews with their equipment or working as editor's assistant, among other miscellaneous duties. My most painful experience involved shopping a screenplay at more than 30 different production companies and being met with harsh rejections every single time. That year, I turned 30. There's an old Chinese saying, at 30, one stands firm. Yet I couldn't even support myself. What could I do? Keep waiting or give up on my movie making dream. My wife was my college classmate. She was a biology major and after graduation went to work for a small pharmaceutical research lab. Her income was terribly modest. At the time, we already had our elder son Han to raise. To appease my own feelings of guilt, I took on all the housework, cooking, cleaning, taking care of our son, in addition to reading, reviewing films, and writing scripts. Every evening after preparing dinner, I would sit on the front steps with Han, telling him stories as we waited for his mother, the heroic huntress, to come home from our sustenance income. This kind of life felt rather undignified for a man. At one point, my in-laws gave their daughter, my wife, a sum of money, intended as a startup capital for me to open up a Chinese restaurant, hoping that a business would help support my family. But my wife refused the money. When I found out about this exchange, I stayed up several nights and finally decided, this dream of mine is not meant to be. I must face reality. Afterwards, and with a heavy heart, I enrolled in a computer course at a nearby community college. At a time when employment trumped all other considerations, it seemed that only a knowledge of computers could quickly make me employable. For the days that followed, I descended into malaise. My wife, noticing my unusual demeanor, discovered a schedule of classes tucked in my bag. She made no comment that night. The next morning, right before she got into her car and head off work, my wife turned back and standing there on our front step said, Ang, don't forget about your dream. And that dream of mine, drowned by demands of reality, came back to life. As my wife drove off, I took the class schedule out of my bag and slowly, deliberately tore it into pieces and tossed it in the trash. Sometime after, I obtained funding for my screenplay and began to shoot my own films. And after that, a few of my films started to win international awards. Recalling earlier times, my wife confessed, I've always believed that you only need one gift. Your gift is making films. There are so many people studying computers already. They don't need an Ang Lee to do that. If you want a golden statue, you have to commit to the dream. And today, I finally won that golden statue. And the Oscar goes to Ang Lee for Brokeback Mountain. This is the first Academy Award for Ang Lee and his third nomination. As director for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, he accepted the foreign language film Oscar for Taiwan. I think my own perseverance and my wife's immeasurable sacrifice have finally met their reward. And I am now more assured than ever before, I must continue making films. You see, I have this never-ending dream. 
All right, that was the story I wanted to share with all of you. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Love to hear your thoughts. But just as a closing message, I just wanna share a couple things that I feel like is a good segue to this video. If you're watching this right now, if you are watching me talking on YouTube right now, yes you, you have a never ending dream. I have a never ending dream. All of us, we all have a dream. Listen to this story again. Remind yourself of this every single day. And along that pursuit of this dream, we are challenged with many obstacles. We're challenged with many distractions. And ultimately, we get to this point along our pursuit of this never ending dream that we start questioning ourselves. Can we actually do this? Is this dream just not in the books for us? It's in the books for others, but not in it for us. And I just wanna share with you that is perfectly normal. Every single pursuer of dreams will be challenged with these difficult decisions. Should I do this or should I not? Should I give up or should I continue? And as you can see from Anne's story, he actually decided to give up, but it wasn't until his supporter, his wife said, hey, you gotta keep going. This is your dream. Your dream is to become a filmmaker. And I think that is the point of that story. It is having a supportive person in your life, in our lives, is so underrated. It is so underrated because I can tell you personally speaking that if it wasn't for my fiance, I would not be continuing on my Amazon FBA journey because after the first and second failure, after a first and second product, I wanted to give up. I verbally seeked permission from my fiance, which is my partner at the time, said, hey, I don't wanna do this anymore. We should probably go do something else. And if it wasn't for her stubbornness, I would not be talking to you today. So I wanna ask you, do you have someone like that in your life who will challenge you, who will push you when things get tough, when things get rough, when things get a little harder? Do you have someone like that in your life? Now, I also wanna ask, could you be that person for someone in your life who is seeking this journey, who is going on this never ending dream journey? Maybe it's your partner, maybe it's one of your family friends, maybe it's someone who wants to be a better version of themselves. Can you be that person like Aang's wife to help them on their pursuit of their dreams? Yeah, that's, that's really it. I mean, I'm gonna link that article down below, but it's, it's just one of the most touching articles that, um, that I've, I've, I've came across, to be honest. And I wanted to share this with all of you because as long as you don't give up and you keep pushing, you keep trying, that's the only way to succeed. And that's, it's so cliche, but man, I'm telling you guys right now, it's just anybody can be successful. Everybody can become successful. Anybody can become a millionaire. Anybody can become whatever they want to be. But they just can't give up when times get hard. 